Hey, what up, gems? Welcome to my channel. My name is Cyril Zuma. I am a commercial photographer, podcaster, and contributor at iStock Africa. Welcome to the channel. If you are new, please like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification icon so you can receive notifications every time I drop a video just like this one here. I'm sure you're wondering what today's topic is all about and why I have all this equipment here on my table. I've got amazing news. I am going to tell you what's inside my camera bag for 2020. I've cut down quite a lot. So what you see here is equipment that I've been carrying for the past three weeks to four weeks. And I try to go as minimal as possible because wow, you know that thing of gear, gear. Photographers just want more gear and more gear every single time. I don't know how much gear is sitting in the studio right now here that I haven't touched in quite a while. So for me, this was an amazing exercise to see how little equipment can I actually fit into my camera bag and still be efficient in what I do. So without wasting any more of your time, I'm going to take you guys through what is inside my camera bag in 2020. All right, so the first item and my go-to equipment is the Canon 6D along with the Canon 24-70 f2.8. This is my go-to gear for when I shoot weddings, when I shoot portraits, when I go on travel trips. This is my go-to setup. I can never go wrong here. I know that I can definitely just whip this out, point the camera and shoot. At f2.8, I'm getting as much sharpness as I really want. I've got some photos which I actually shot this weekend using this lens and the camera, and they're just so sharp. They look absolutely amazing. So the Canon 24-70 along with the Canon 6D, which I've had for about four years, I think. I think I've had the Canon uh, 6D for about four years. So all the photography you've been seeing on my timeline, on my Instagram, on my Twitter, and also on my website has been shot using the Canon 6D and the Canon 24-70 or using what I'm shooting with right now, which is the Canon 50M 1.4. So that's my go-to camera setup. If you are ever wondering, what do I shoot with? What does Cyril shoot with? Why are his photos so amazing? How do they come out so amazing? This is what I use. The Canon 24-70 along with the Canon 6D. The next important tool in this whole setup here for me has to be the Canon EX or 430EX2. This is a flash and this flash will definitely help you when you need to just whip something up and you don't have enough light. This is what I use when I don't have enough light in many situations. I've used this at weddings. I've used this in portrait sessions. I've used this in bright sunlight. I've used this in many situations. So I've got a flash here. I would like to get a better flash, but this has been keeping me going for the past four years also. So Canon 430EX, that's what's inside my bag also. The third piece of item that's in my bag and I carry it religiously has to be these young new triggers here. So I've got two of these. It's a trigger and a transmitter. And basically what they will do is I will mount one of these over here. And then what I will do is I'll mount another one on top over here. And I can take this in this kind of setup just like this. Put it somewhere on a stand or put it somewhere in a corner facing up, bouncing it off a wall. Probably just put it just like that there. And then I take my camera and I fire it offline. So they are not, not even offline, but yeah, there's no wires. There's nothing connected into these two. It's just these two working with one another. I've used this at weddings quite a lot. In fact, at weddings, I use this similar type of um, triggering or lighting when I had three lights around in a room. I had one either side. So the couple was on the dance floor in the middle and I had two lights that side there and I had another one coming to my right hand side and I basically used triggers to fire them off and they were firing at different times. I would switch one off if I want, if I didn't want it, depending on where the couple was facing. So these are super important. With a setup like this, I can go anywhere. This is what they look like. 
So in case you're wondering and you want to get them, I got these from Cameras and Rosebank. Yeah, I got these from Cameras and Rosebank. Get yourself a pair. They do wonders. And then, of course, you know, you have to have batteries. <laughs> I mean, you know, I keep two batteries, three batteries with me at all times just to make sure that I don't miss any moment. Like there's nothing worse than like having one battery and that battery runs out. I know they say these batteries right, last you like six to seven hours and most of us don't really shoot six to seven hours. But when you're in between shoots, you know, you kind of forget maybe to charge one of these things. So keep an extra one at all times. So I have two of those. The other toy, which I definitely keep in my bag religiously, and I take this everywhere for my video. I recently started to vlog a little bit, and I've been using the GoPro Hero 6. Wow, what a beast, what a beast. With this little thing here, I can shoot at 1080p, I can shoot at um 120 so i can even slow down my footage i can shoot it at 60 frames so i've got everything packed into this little toy here i can go from linear view to wide to super wide depending on what i want to do but i can put it uh, on a on a selfie stick i can mount one of these in my head so i've got a, like um, a kit that i got off amazon that i mount of my head my chest it, it does all the video for me really since the Canon 6D really does lack in terms of video, um, it's not really the best for video, specifically if you're trying to vlog because you can't see yourself and you're unsure exactly what you're looking at. There is no eye autofocus. It's just, yeah, it's a huge mess. So I definitely always go with the GoPro Hero 6. It's one of my favorite little toys that I use all the time. And then I've got a cage for it, which I got for free. It says... Um, black seven so basically it's meant to be for um the hero black seven but i got it for free because i didn't have a cage at that time and when i was buying some of the, uh, one of these batteries at cameras in rosebank they basically gave me that for free don't tell the owners <laughs> but one of the guys gave it for me shout out to you i won't mention your name in case they're watching and i keep two of those and then one of the other important things which is for my flash batteries always keep batteries with you at all times these are a3 batteries and i can fit eight of them in this little thing here so i know this takes four so i have two times batteries these are rechargeable batteries by the way buy rechargeable batteries they just work a little bit better so i keep those for my flash in case i ever need to use my flash which i do most of the time and then the other thing is of course my laptop I use a MacBook Air. You know, it's pretty decent for editing on the road. And then when I get back home, I can sit down on the machine and actually edit heavy stuff, heavy videos. But on the go, on the light, MacBook Air has been doing me absolutely amazing. I have had no complaints. Though it is a bit slow. My assistant complains about it being slow. It is a bit slow. I mean, you know, ideally I would like a better camera, but this is what's inside my bag. And it's been doing me absolutely amazing. The other thing which is super important for me is memory cards. You have to have memory cards, a lot of memory cards. Specifically when you shoot video, you need a lot of memory cards. You need large, um, large memory cards. I normally keep 64 gigs and I try and keep the right speed above 120 uh, or 100 just so that I can at least shoot some 4K for about 10 seconds, 15 seconds. So make sure that you do get quality, quality memory cards. It plays a huge game, guys, when, you, when you're trying to shoot a 4K video, you're trying to shoot video at a high quality and you don't have a card that has you know, fast enough write speed. It'll just mess everything up. So get cards, SD cards that um, have a nice fast write speed and also the size because you're in between shoots You want something that can carry, you know, a lot from 64 gigs. I think even 32 is good for you. Yeah, even 32 from 32 64 gigs and 120 or 124 Just have one of those And then my favorites memory another thing while you are on shoot you need to be saving your stuff at all times. Just, you know, you need to save your stuff all the time. 
and I'll tell you why. I was doing a wedding about two years ago, and um, I we, there were three of us shooting, so I had two assistants on that day, and I was shooting the main footage, and the memory card got um, damaged because I was shooting with it from the morning till the evening. And so when I got back home, the card was it either over was overheating or whatever happened with it. But I wasn't backing up during the day. I didn't have hard drives with me. So make sure you carry hard drives with you all the time. Shoot, 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 shoot. Go put it into them and back it up quickly so that if anything happens to it, you've got it. I carry two with me just in case I ever need to. So one of them is my main hard drive and this one is my backup hard drive. So I'll take stuff from here, shoot, shoot with it, put it on here. And then when I get back home later on, dump it back into the hard drive. Or if I don't have enough space, play around with the two. And then my favorite toy. <laughs> this has been, wow, it's sitting in my bag ever since I got it. This is the Wacom Intuos tablet. And this Wacom Intuos tablet has been doing me absolutely amazing. Like I just can't stop admiring it. Like it's such a nifty little toy. It comes with a pen. Like you know, I can do all things with this little pen here and I can strap it on to that little thing over there. Like it just does everything that I need to do. So while I'm on the go, whether I'm in the car, whether I'm just sitting at a coffee waiting to have a meeting with a client or waiting on set and I just happen to happen to have a deadline where I just want to lightly retouch something, I can easily whip this up and open up Photoshop and right away I can edit on the go. I haven't really figured out uh, the Wacom tablet, how to use it to its maximum. So if anybody does know how to use the Wacom tablet to its full potential, please hit me up and we can go through some stuff. You need to teach me how to go, how to make this a little bit of toy. And then of course, I carry the charger with me, which is the laptop charger. Super important. I cannot be my, you know, I just cannot be going dead during a set. Just, it just doesn't happen. So just a quick recap of what's in my camera bag for 2020. I've got the Canon 6D with the Canon 24-70 f2.8. And then I have this Canon Speed Light, which is a 430EX and Ying Nu triggers, two batteries for the camera and two batteries for the GoPro. I've also got a GoPro Hero 6 Black, which is pretty cool, a cage for it, so I can mount it up in almost anything. And then black tape, very important. A3 batteries for the flash, cards, um, SD cards for your camera. This is hard drives, Wacom tablet, Intuos tablet, and I've also got my MacBook Air. But I feel like I am forgetting one more thing, which I'm going to look for it right now. Give me a second, I'll be back. The one other item which I really, really love is this Joby tripod. Oh man, I cannot tell you how many times I've been able to whip up this little thing here put it down and film even a time lapse just from chilling it as it is. Take it, whip it up, hold it down and start vlogging. At the same time, take it this thing and mount it up onto something because it bends very nicely. This Joby tripod is absolutely a must have. And and it's also got one of these here so it can, it, you know, it can move. I can move this here, I can point it in any direction I wanted it to point lock it up when I want to. It is safe, small, can fit into the side of my bag. I don't need to carry too much with it. This has also been in my bag ever since I bought it because I know that I can use it for almost anything. If I don't have a stabilizer anywhere near me, this is what I use. A Joby tripod. These are super, 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 super helpful. Get yourself one of these. Well, that's everything that is in my camera bag for 2020. And we've gone through the recap. I've shown you guys what's in my bag. I've basically allowed you into my space. So I wanna ask you guys, what's in your camera bag? Comment below, let me know what's in your camera bag. 
and what are you carrying for 2020 and i also have a wish list actually like my wish list for 2021 is a canon eos r which i would really 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 love if the universe is listening which it is if anybody is listening i would really love a canon eos r that's on my wish list for 2021 and i'm also really wishing for a sigma 85 mil um wow what a lens I've been seeing other photographers like Wadi Nepe holding the lens and it, it is so sharp. I shot with it at Ultra when I was shooting Ultra 2020, which is early during the year. I'm talking now, we're in, we're in lockdown level one now, but you know, and it is October, November. Yeah, November is the 1st of November, which is my birthday month. Yes, please. I need donations. Yes, it's my birthday month. <laughs> if you want to buy me a camera, uh, Canon EOS R or a Sigma 85mm. It is my birthday on the 20th of November. Please, if you're listening. That's basically my wish list for 2021. What I want in my bag. I still want to keep it as small as possible. I'll probably get rid of this camera once I get the EOS R. And once I get the Sigma, I'll probably put down the 50m and start using the 85m but we'll see how it goes i mean you never know what happens but other than that that's my wish list for 2021 what is your wish list what is in your bag let me know in the comments below and till the next video peace chinas